there. It's Friday, the end of another beautiful week, and it must be time for a vlog. Did you watch last week's TED Talk that I posted on emotional hygiene and emotional first aid? It made a lot of sense, didn't it? Today I want to talk about decluttering. Last year, very sadly, two old boyfriends of mine passed away, and they were both men that were the same age as me in their mid-40s, and they passed away suddenly and unexpectedly. It was a real shake-up. It got me thinking about a lot of things, including the importance of living just for today. But what I realized was that their close friends and family were now going through their possessions and material things and passing them back out into the world, redistributing them. It made me think about if I passed away suddenly, touch wood, what would that look like? Where would people find excess and clutter and an unnecessary amount of possessions? The first place I realized that they'd find it would be in my kitchen, that I had a freezer full of old food and cupboards full of tins that weren't getting eaten. And so that was one of my projects last year was to just eat out of my freezer and my cupboards for a little while. And it felt really good actually. Like I, I decluttered it. I know exactly what I have in the house right now. There's no mystery tins. There's no mystery meals in the freezer. I ate it all. Continue to keep the amount of food that I have in the house small but nutritious and it's mindful and I'm, I'm aware of what I'm holding on to and what I'm purchasing and when and why and when I'm going to eat it. So that's been really good. The other area of my life that I thought about was with my clothes is that I've held on to things that didn't quite fit or weren't quite right. For years I've held on to some of these things, especially the garments that I made for myself because it took so much effort to actually sew them. I didn't want to pass them on. But what I realized was that there was no point holding on to that kind of clutter. It just left me with a feeling of being clogged up. And so last year, if I hadn't worn it for a year, that was all four seasons, I'd had a chance to wear it, I hadn't worn it, then it was time to pass it on. And so I actually, over the last year, year and a half, have gotten rid of at least half my wardrobe. So I have a lot less clothes to wear, but the ones that I do have fit right, feel good. Uh, and that's been that's been really good for me too. That's been another kind of freedom. The weekend throwdown. Where do you tend to hold clutter in your life? Can you spend this weekend just eating out of your fridge and cupboards and actually using up that food that you've been holding onto for weeks, months, hopefully not years? Can you actually eat out of your cupboards just this, for this weekend and not purchase any groceries? Just use what you've already got. Where else are you able to do that in your life? Where are there parts of your life that you avoid because of the clutter in them, because they're complicated and they're difficult? And how can you start to simplify that and declutter?